I bought makeup. Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I have a haul video for you guys and this video involves makeup. So I'm very, very excited about it. All of this stuff is stuff that I got totally illegally within my um, Makeout 2015 rules, but it's been a while. It's been a while since I bought makeup. So we're going to talk, I have two hair care products that I wanted to talk about and then some makeup products. So we'll start with the hair care and just get it out of the way because I know at least I'm more interested in the makeup. Both of these are from Ulta. Ulta store brand has been certified by Logical Harmony as cruelty free, which is great. She's my favorite um, list. I just think it's the most reliable cruelty free list. And so I have hairspray, which I've been wearing and I like it. I like it just as much as my Paul Mitchell one and it is cheaper and I didn't even pay for this. I have a friend who gave it to me because she didn't really like it. And then also sea salt spray which is great for um, like if I want to do my hair wavy. I haven't been doing that as much, but I should, I should break that out. It's that time of year, you know? So those are the hair things that I have. Moving on to the makeup. So I have a couple of nail products. Now I promised myself that I wasn't going to buy any nail polish this year, which is really bad because I've actually seen a lot that I really want. Like I want to try the new Orly gel polishes but I said I wouldn't. But I do have a few friends who work for Jamboree, which as near as I can tell is cruelty free. They're not on Logical Harmony's list or Leaping Bunny, but everything I've read on their website and every person I've talked to that works for them assures me that they are cruelty free. So what they are is they're little nail stickers that you adhere to your nail and they claim to last up to two weeks. That has not been my experience. I've gotten maybe a week out of them. Now I personally, I think they're really cute and really simple. Like I've got one as my accent nail right now. And then what nail polish are you? You're wet and wild. What are you called? Retro mint is what the nail polish is. Um, but I've got the little flower one on my nails right now. And they're, they're fun. And if you like nail art, but you know, you don't like doing it yourself, these are great and they last for a while. I don't necessarily like the fact that they last for a while because I like changing my nails quite often. But I've had fun with them lately because I've been a little lazy with my nails. And a friend of mine sent them to me, so it doesn't count, right? Then I also got a couple of eyeshadow products. They're all kind of like eyeshadow bases, which you guys know I'm addicted to. The first one I got is um, this e.l.f. smudge pot in Cruising Chic, and I bought this with my own money, so this counts towards my Makeout 2015. Um, and I've been looking for a dupe for the Maybelline color tattoos since I went cruelty free and I've heard good things about this one. I saw it at Walmart and I picked it up willy nilly. Um, and actually I haven't really even used it all that much so far because I've been focusing on color on my eyes. Um, and then the other two that I got were gifts. They were both Mother's Day gifts. I got two Sephora cards for Mother's Day and with those Sephora cards I got quite a bit of stuff. So um, my sister got me a Sephora card and I bought this eyeshadow base, which is, oh my gosh, you guys, you have to check it out. Actually, let me swatch all this stuff. Um, it's their coconut watercolor eyeshadow. I'm sure you guys have seen this. They were pretty popular. I've wanted it for over a year. And this one is in Rio de Rose Gold and it's liquid eyeshadow. And oh my gosh, it has so much shine to it. I just love it. Oh, so pretty. So I've been wearing that a lot lately. And then the other one, I went back and got another one with Ken's gift card, because my husband gave me a Mother's Day gift card. And this one is in Playa del Pink. Looks like this. It's not doing it justice on camera. It looks really beautiful on. And I've been wearing them on their own or under something, and they last a really long time. I really, really like them. And here, let me give you a swatch of that, that e.l.f. smudge pot too. So they're all very neutral. Then I also bought another uh, coconut watercolor cheek chile by Josie Marin. I think Josie Marin's quickly becoming one of my favorites. And this one is in Poppy Paradise, and I love it. It's like a, a gel consistency blush. And look how pretty. Ooh, that looks really bright, but then you rub it in and it's just this like really soft, gorgeous color. And it's just a very subtle stain. I love it because I have really dry skin and I just think it looks really nice. 
Then I got a couple of mascaras. So this one is by Urban Decay. Urban Decay is owned by a parent company that tests. I don't normally buy from brands that are owned by parent company that companies that test. Not that I have a problem with it, but I know that some of you do. So I want everything that I have talked about on this channel to be something that all of you are okay with buying. But this was a 100 point perk. So it was the only cruelty free thing that they had as a perk and I needed new mascara. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then I also had purchased before that this, which is the e.l.f. Defining and Volumizing Mascara. I'm wearing, actually I'm layer, I've layered both of these. I don't like this. It's like this tiny little brush. Mm -mm. No bueno. So um, when I saw that this was a perk, I was like, okay, I'll get that. And I've been living on this, but it's almost out. I'll have to keep working with this because I'm not letting myself buy mascaras when I already have them. So that's it. That's my entire haul. I feel like I've done really, really well. Um, the only thing that I bought with my own money that was like not a gift was um, this mascara, which I'm allowed to do when I'm out of mascara, and I was out when I bought this, and then the e.l.f. smudge pot, which is actually, I think, the first thing all year that I've bought with my own money that wasn't that was like just a fun thing. So I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to have purchased some makeup and excited to have reined myself in. And you guys, we've been doing a lots of budgeting. I've been talking a little bit about budgeting on the daily channel and a little bit about budgeting on the parenting channel as well. But um, because I've been, we've been really responsible with how we use our blow money, we're gonna be able to go on a really cool vacation this summer and we've paid back a lot of debt. I finished paying off my student loan like this month, which is awesome. So that is really exciting. I'm, I'm excited to see how being disciplined in some areas, including this and many, many other areas, we've been very disciplined about other spending as well, has really started to pay off. So I wanna encourage you guys, you too can do it if you are considering doing a project pan um, or like a Makeout 2015, give yourself a little flexibility but enjoy it. I've really been enjoying shopping my stash. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. So the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. You can also see my family every day over at Sudden Compact. And if you want to know what's going on on my parenting channel, there's some really exciting stuff happening over there. So if you subscribe, you won't miss that too. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. But I've made incredible progress on the Project Pan things. So I wanted to show you all that I have left in terms of Project Pan, and then also just kind of talk about a couple of things for my project focus.